Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Matt Latter and today we'll be continuing our renowned Explorers International Society playthrough. So, we're back with the crew, with our crew leader Yvonne, with Kiwi and with Agatha. We have just finished up the Saxon King's Tomb and now we're on the world map. So, what's, well, to do here? First of all, let's check our uh, values here. We've got a whole bunch of gold, we've got a good bit of status, not too much research, and we've got a bunch of insight. So yeah, we need to spend insight, we need to spend research, spend status, and spend the gold. Let's go and improve ourselves. We start off up here with a glowing button. We can spend research to write research papers. They give us unique bonuses. So this here is the research screen, and up here you see what our next research costs. Basically, um, yeah, this is kind of like uh, mini tech trees of sorts. So we can right now unlock observations. And this means one of our crew members can learn naturalist, engineer or archaeologist perks of their choice. And if we finish the whole tree itself, we gain more renown, gold, status or research. So. Same so with history. History though uh, means basically upgrading entourage calls costs a lot less status. Entourage halls is where we spend our status. So, well, what do we want to do? There's a whole lot of stuff down here where we can gain various upgrades. Um, what we want to do is ex essentially go down to exploration records out here, because it gives us increased supply capacity and even more supply capacity for all expeditions we complete. Supply is generally the limiting factor of the uh, expeditions, so let's go there. So um, we might be able to get there. Um, yeah, okay, let's get historians. A lobbyist joins your entourage and we gain five campaign tokens. You can see status upgraded. Next up, we gain antiquity inside. Means we gain one insight and also one insight every time we finish an expedition. Let's take it. Next up, um, yeah, this is not quite gonna be enough here. We want writing history, campaign tokens for entering encounters, and much more campaign tokens when we enter epic encounters. So yeah, we can get this still. You wait and see. So, next up, um, we can do, well, basically, uh, do university jobs to spend our insight. Like, we can go to London and lecture. Doing that, we would gain uh, various tokens, as you can see below here uh, in this area. Like, if Kiwi just does a bit of London lecturing, we gain a bunch of gold. If we do the same in Paris, we can gain campaign tokens. And lastly, if we do it in Berlin, we can gain research, and that's what we want to do. And Agatha has probably a lot of friends down there, so I should do it. There we go. We've got a bunch of science done, which means we can now go back and gain the writing history perk. Nice. So we may, with some luck, actually gain the uh, exploration records if we go and uh, do some more inside spending here. Let's go for it. Let's try it. That's going well. Come on. Yep, that's it. We have enough research to gain the exploration records. Very good. Ah, uh, we can't get up to the 60, but we'll go there relatively soon. Uh, actually, I should maybe have done that here first for the inside spending, but whatever. No need to worry about details right now. So, um, we have still two inside left. Um, Let's see what we need later on. Right now we have two entourage slots available. Uh, all it's not slots. One is in Madrid, in the palace, and the other is in Stockholm's... Uh, Stor? Torget? Okay. So we can recruit helpers of various kinds, depending on the hall, various ones. So we have more availability. And these helpers give us certain bonuses. The lobbyist, for example, grants us bonus status from all campaign tokens. We can also hire specialists, so this is where it's gonna get interesting. They give us permanent, sizable upgrades. So for example, we gain one study token whenever we resolve something deviously. That's something we want to do. So let's hire that guy for 150 of our status. 
There you go. Igor the Plotter is now with us. Um, in Stockholm, what specials do we have here? Those who cost a shit ton of stuff. Okay, we're gonna come back to those guys later. For now, let's consider if we want some more people of this variety. Um, what do we have in Madrid again? Uh, the traders, the student, the merchant. Okay, the one is from Encounter, the other is from Collect Tokens. Very good. Um, let's leave them for now, actually. And now we go to the item shop. So, this is another thing. Every character has three types of equipment slots. A defensive one, an offensive one, and a trinket slot. Basically, defensive uh, can either be... Here. Uh, either be uh, boots, mementos, rings, or armor. Boots are specifically only for scouts. Um, they gain some mixed defense bonuses. The armor obviously gives gives straight up armor. The mementos give straight up speech defense. And I think, yeah, I, that's all three types. I think I named a fourth earlier, which was bullshit. So what do we want to do here? And she's got a leather vest and these guys have rusty rings. They give barely any bonus at all. So you are a scout, are you not? She's a scout. Very good. That means she can take the decent boots out here. Let's sell this right away. And then we're gonna get a normal decent armor. And a decent memento. Let's sell these things again. And now we need trinkets. So, uh, trinkets come in various uh, availabilities and various Things they can do, for example, the compass, where is it? Resist damage taken from enraged speeches, and we gain the survivalist and navigation perk. The monkey wrench then uh, gives basically resistance from terrified speeches, and we gain the engineer advanced tools perk. Which is kind of hilarious, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with uh, the monkey wrench, and we're gonna hand it to uh, Kiwi here. Next up, we take the compass and. Actually, was she the navigator? She was. Uh, does she have navigation? Yes, she does. Okay, so the compass is not very useful right now. Instead, then, let's go and upgrade our... Uh, what's it called? What's a heart? Damn. Uh, offensive items. There we go. So we can go with gloves. They give attack and speech power a little bit. And decent books, which is the other way around. I mean, you can still clobber someone overhead with it, right? Okay, so... Let's get decent books, sell the old ones, and we all have advanced books. Very good. So, um, yeah, that's basically what we can do right now in the world. So, now we choose our next expedition. We can go to the Hungarian fort. Uh, difficulty T. Difficulty 2, not T. Lady Vaduva, the treasurer of the Realm of Explorers, has notified you of a forgotten fort. It used to be a secret alchemy lab in the Middle Ages. There must be something amazing to discover around these for forgotten places. Being devious might help. Expect tactician, archaeologist, quick thinker, diplomat challengers, as well as plenty of status. That already sounds pretty good. Next we have the Sex Graves we've already done. The Mali Mystery. Difficulty to you. You are up for a unique chance to explore the inland in search of a mysterious witch doctor. These areas are full of good-spirited villagers and devious hyenas, and a friendly approach might help. Expect plenty of rogue, athlete, and begala challenges. Also lots of gold. Hmm. Then Roche's lost treasure, the Caribbean adventurer. The once fierce Dutch pirate Roche disappeared many years ago after burying his pirate treasure. Monkeys and smugglers will oppose you, and an aggressive approach could make things easier. Nature challenges, technique challenges in abundance, there's a lot to study for research. Okay, we're gonna go with the one best suited to our current setup, the Hungarian fort. Let's go to Transylvania then. The Hungarian forest, with details provided by Lady Vaduva, you must be able to find the secret fort, which used to be an alchemy laboratory. You enter the forest. There is no time to lose. And here we have it. Okay, right away we can get research, nature challenges and gold. 
an encounter and some status, or status gold and a research. Let's go here. The sound of growling wolves is becoming ever more present. Well, Kiwi averts the danger with quick thinking. Best chance we have. And... Yeah, that should... Nah. Oh well. Kiwi manu Kiwi's maneuver fails and Kiwi gets badly bitten before you can flee. Minus five grit for the expedition. Yeah, not great. Okay, let's go here. There's a wits challenge, there's treasure and there's research. What awaits us here? Through the dense swamp gas you see strange silhouettes. In the distance you hear a muffled scream. Someone in need of our help? This part of the swamp is ravaged wilderness. One crew member must first find a way through. If one claims it is easy to get stuck in these swamp grounds, a quick thinker would be able to escape. Kiwi argues that the scream might must be provoked by something frightening. A tactician might be convenient when things get out of hand. With these ideas in mind, Yvonne decides who will go first. We don't have a quick thinker, but we have a tactician. A gaffer. The ground is getting more rough with every step. The swamp turns awfully quiet. It gives Agatha the chills. Suddenly, you see where the strange silhouettes came from. Oh no! Agatha utters a shriek of terror upon seeing a grime monster standing before her. However, the monster seems to be even more afraid of you. He instantly starts weeping. The cultists always make fun of me. Did you come here to bully me too? Agatha feels sorry for the monster and decides she wants to help him deal with the tyrannizing bullies. Give him a lesson on how to deal with bullies. Let's do that. Let's see if we succeed this time. Uh, yes we do. Nice. Agatha gives the swamp monster a lesson on tactical insults. The next time cultists come to bully, the monster will be able to take an advantage, advantageous position on top of a rock and ridicule them by saying, I must be a swamp monster, but at least I am not a cultist with swamp for brains. A flawless tactic, making use of the monster's natural defenses. Haha, <laughs> that will teach him. Yeah, if you say so. So, we also gain a carved ace. Nice. Under the Realm is very welcome. Uh, okay. Oh, start air expedition with one tools, which can be used to improve your chance on the action wheel. That's nice. You can also take a lot of research and campaign tokens, but you know what? Tools it is. Agatha tells the crew about the monster and the treasures. Q believes that the monsters are gravely misunderstood and can be the best friends. If you say so. Okay, let's go towards the south. There's a lot of unexplored stuff out here. One finds a small plate of silver. It probably fell off a cord. Well, that's also welcome. Let's go down here then. Here he finds a small book about a countess that murders young women in her quest for eternal youth. Creepy. Yeah, actually, uh, no, that was... Uh, countess Bathory, I believe? Really creepy character. Okay, down here we have something nice. A cultural challenge, research and treasure. While walking through the gloomy forest, you see something sticking out of the ground. At the same time, the air fills with a foul smell. Find out where the strange odor comes from and gain research. Ooh, sweet, that's 99%. Yeah, we're gonna take that. And if we succeed, which we should easily do, and we did, we will gain another treasure. After some digging, Agatha finds a flask containing a quaint liquid. An alchemist must have dropped it. Agatha handles the flask with caution. It probably contains something unearthly. Nice! Another treasure! The alchemist's flask contains a mysterious liquid with a penetrating fragrance. This time, let's go before campaign for study tokens. Nice, that's already looking good up here. Okay, let's go over here. You have the feeling you could find something here, but some bandits grab you. All these lands belong to our boss, Boris the Claw. Leave your stuff now or prepare to die. Well, we are tactically prepared, so how about no? They'll probably try to kill us. Yeah, we can't be friendly. Um. Oh, nice, we gained the loot. Let's go for Devious then, that's the best approach here. So, you, up here. Be a loudmouth. Off they go. That's gonna be relatively easy, I feel. So, let's terrify the crap out of that motherfucker. And he's terrified. Nice. They run and leave the loot. We gain two campaign tokens, a study token, and two encounter tokens. Very nice. 
They run away screaming that their boss, Boris the Claw, will get you, leaving their loot behind. Hopefully, you'll never encounter those ruffians again. Ooh, and we have another campfire story ready. Let's see what we can gain this time. Resolve, collect tokens, campaign tokens, and counter tokens. Um... Hmm. What do we want more? You know what? I think we're going with the collect tokens. Yep. The crew spends the night going through some of the trinkets they've collected. With an appraising eye and a healthy discussion, the crew di discovers that some pieces are worth more gold. Sometimes it pays off to take a second look at things. Nice. That's what I like to see. So, off we go again. Where to go next? Um, let's go down here. The sound of growling wolves is becoming ever more present. Eh, we've had that one before. Let's try it with quick thinking. Not sure we're gonna get it, but worth a shot. There we go. Huey escapes the wolves with a clever distraction. <laughs> Those wolves look weird as fuck. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we still have three things left. Um, yeah, let's go up here then. A group of villagers is skeptical about your presence. Maybe a diplomatic approach will convince them. Yeah, Yvonne, let's do the convincing here. Not the greatest of chances, but let's see. Ah, barely works. Nice. The villagers are convinced that the Renault Explorers are great, and Yvonne is one of their finest. Okay, best course of action we can take is go over here. Hello! <laughs> What's this? A joke? No! <laughs> Say what? If you make me laugh in two seconds, I'll give you something special! Let's make a quick comment by Kiwi again. Also doesn't want to deal with demons, right? Yeah, nobody managed to think of something funny, including Kiwi. The little red guy ju then just disappears. You still hear the faint echo. <laughs> oh well. Okay, um, last tile we can explore without suffering all too many consequences. Let's go up here. Ooh. Monument to the Elder Gods. Wolves! Your crew is being followed by quite a lot of them. There are too many to take head on, but a clever tactical move might dispose of them. Okay. Old German lady, deal with wolves. And... Ah, yeah, barely. The wolves are drawn into a bottleneck and defeated. You remain unscathed. You're out of supplies. You press on, but the situation is having severe effects on your crews. So, Kiwi loses grit. Not great. But over here we can gain some supplies. Maybe enough to check out the Cthulhu monument over here. This seems like a fruitful part of the swamp. Maybe a survivalist could find something useful. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah, that's a success. Here we find some edible berries for supplies. Nice. Okay, yeah, we can make it over here. Let's see. Yvonne and the crew spot a weird gargoyle statue. A mysterious otherworldly aura emanates from it. Though the statue is a cryptic lock, there are five slots for Greek letters. One is curious to find out what's locked behind it. The code seems to be complex. You might need help from other explorers around the world to crack the code. Okay. Let's try a code. Oh yeah, no. Um, can I back out? Okay, let's just try some... Random Greek letters. Because, why not? Let's see if we're going to die. The eyes of the gargoyle briefly light up, but you get a feeling that if you filled in with the correct code, something should happen in a place far away from here. That's a big if, though. The crew continues their quest, but wonders if something happened. Interesting, and we actually have some tiles that give us food up here, so we can continue on exploration. Oh yeah, epic encounter. The small town is absolutely ravaged. It seems that wolves were the culprits, but you wonder what terrifying beast would be able to do such a thing. We can still get some goods from the abandoned town. Let's look in the granary. 
You're about to enter the building when a wolf attacks from the shadows. Eesh. No good dice rolls here. Last chance here, and come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no! Iwan is not fast enough and gets caught by the wolf. Out of struggle, Iwan is freed, but your resolve suffers. Damn. <sighs> you enter the granary where you find a lot of supplies and some coin. The howl of wolves is getting closer. Iwan decides to bolt, but mighty beast must have to attack this town. This time we actually gain a whole bunch of supplies, that's good. Okay, and Kiwi levels up, that is great as well. Um, hmm, gain plus 20 grit after Enrage, that's pretty good for our crew. Yeah, let's take that one, and we also gain a trinket slot, very nice. Let's unlock this. How is it looking experience-wise for the others? Not that far away in most cases. Well, in one case. Okay, let's try and see if we're going to die. We're going over here. There might be an epic encounter. Actually, you know what? I'll see if I can maybe first find something unusual nearby. You come across a comfortable hut. The crew could use some rest. On the porch, there's a skeptical-looking woman. I'd normally be hospitable, but there are a lot of crazy admirers of Elizabeth Bathory around. Ah, there you go. Elizabeth Bathory. So I trust no one. Okay, um, yeah, we're not an admirer, please let us in. Let's see if that works. 56% isn't quite bad. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Very good. Woman is convinced by Yvonne. Inside she tells you about the horrors of Elizabeth Bathory, a medieval countess who tortured and murdered hundreds of young women to bathe in their blood and retain her youth. Afterwards, lady offers one more thing before you go. You can either rest the night here or take some supplies and move on. And we've got plenty of uh, resolve, so let's take the supplies. And yes, that is what I've been looking for. These epic encounters usually have a weakness you can uncover, and this usually happens with the uh, strange encounter here. You find a group of hunters who are looking to hunt a vicious wild wolf known as the Beast. If you want our protection or help hunting him, you must show us what you're worth. Very well. Let's be tactically prepared again and kick their asses. Because we definitely want to deal with the beast. Okay, we need to be aggressive here. Definitely, no deviousness allowed. Which is kind of a shame, but you know, we can deal. Okay, so... Um... Okay, you move here. Hmm still sadly the best things we have hmm okay we're gonna alpha strike some things down and then we're gonna focus on the uh, what's it called aggressive stance so let's actually get you in here nice okay that means I should be able to get the ball rolling here with slapping them around Let's end the turn. Um, there's actually... Um, give it a quick moment. I'm gonna do something real quick here. Um, there, the quick encounter animations. Uh, originally I turned them off because I was playing the game on my own and it was more interesting to just see things go along. Oh, nice. Let's murder the wolf here. Slam straight in the jaw. He's out. And now we're hostile. Very good. Okay, um. You've just got melee range. You're also melee range only. Too bad. Well, let's go ahead and actually. Let's check something. We have range two tiles. Should be enough. Very good. He's gone, and now let's murder the wolf here. There we go. And that's the encounter. We're aggressive. The hunters respect our strength. Bunch of tokens. They're impressed by your strength. Maybe you can defeat the beast. Take this flare gun. It will scare off most of his pack. Nice. 
Okay, so that means we can now go to the epic encounter and, yeah, tear up some shit. This doesn't look good. You're about to be ambushed by a group of wolves led by the beast. This is going to be extremely tough. Okay, shoot the flare gun. Yvonne shoots the flare gun the hunters gave you. Most of the wolves run away in fear of the bright light. You have a small window of opportunity to flee, or you could try to engage with a smaller pack. And engage we shall. We shall not retreat. Oh, ho, 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 that's a shit ton of tokens. We are going for devious here. Okay, so... Um... Not quite powerful yet. Can we scare you? We can. Ooh. <laughs> she's gonna tell the wolf she's grading him bad and he pisses himself. Ah, oh, this game is glorious, stupid. I love it. Okay. Let's tease him. <laughs> oh, what a stupid picture. Okay, um... Let's devious him to death. And he's gone. Very good, that's two wolves down and out. Let's see, our true enemy is over here. This once playful pup has been scarred by abuse, a saddening sight. Goes berserk when enraged. Interesting. Let him come. Eh, not too much damage. We can work with that. Okay, uh, you can't come here, so Lob Mall's not a real option, at least not a good one. Uh, let's wait a moment here. Okay, we need to take them one by one. The wolf is annoyed. And there he should go down. He does. And Agatha, do you have the movement to get somewhere close? Uh, your terrify is melee only. Hmm. If I go here though, I'll get quite the beating. Yeah, I'm gonna save the thing magic. So let's go with Impress for now. We'll make the wolf fall in love with us. Remarkable! You got such good grades, Agatha. Okay, Beast is in range. Very good. And he doesn't even deal that much damage, actually. Ouch. Not that ouch, but still. Okay. Uh, best way to deal with him for us is still probably this one. Oh man, we have a lot of effects here. Jesus. Okay, um... Blah, blah. Stop it! Now he's enraged. Hey, uh, let's go the deride then. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the animations are just great in this game. Uh, and yeah, I think we're gonna do that up here. Bad boy. <laughs> is very confused about all the mixed signals and leaves. Okay. Uh, he's getting attacking the leader and he misses. That is great. Another wolf coming up here. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, sadly the loudmouth isn't going to do much work here. But we should be able to whittle the beast, as it's called, down bit by bit. Yeah, man. Sudden ability is quite powerful here. I also really like all the uh, hand-drawn uh, artwork here. There's a lot of cool stuff. Let's sadden the wolf some more. And he's scared. Well, old German teacher ladies can be scary. I speak from experience. <laughs> this time around he hits. But we should have this one in our pocket. Yeah, this is pretty much done for. Oh, hurtful. And come on. 
Very good. The beast becomes too enraged and loses it. Ooh boy, that's a shit ton of good tokens. The beast has been tamed. It won't terrorize the area any longer. Hungarian children will tell the tale of how Yvonne dominated the beast with pure willpower. You also find the body of an alchemist apprentice. He has something interesting with him. Some strange powder. Well worth the research. We gain the Hungarian mix. A whole lot of renown and a bunch of insight. Okay, yeah, um... Ooh, that's some good stuff. But we're gonna go with the status per campaign tokens because holy shit, we've got 37 of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can or make our way down there without dying of hunger along the way again. Here we come. The ruins over there must be the secret fort. Once you finish exploring the ruins, this expedition will be over and you return to the overworld. Are you and your crew ready to continue? Yep. Right away, you're in, the nasty, in for a nasty surprise. Cultists! The leader seems to be a master alchemist herself. You come to disturb our secret occult fortress, you won't get past me. So another level 3 encounter. Let's deal with them. This time around we've got no proper limitations, so we're trying to go for Devious yet again. It's after all our greatest strength. So let's nuke two of these fuckers right away. Off they go. And next up... So this is our target, right? Yeah, Caldus Leader. Knows what to do with aggressive opponents. Beware, can't cope with humiliation. Well, very good, because that's basically what we're doing. <laughs> ah, yeah. Very good. Okay. Next up. Eh, can't hit both. Not very powerful quite yet. Um... We can heal someone, but you know what, let's just put him in a positive mood. That's something we can do as well, namely. Influence our own characters. Oh, they gain reinforcements. Ooh, line attack. Not very powerful, but still. And he does a fumble! Man, you suck. Oh, this isn't another leader, right? Ah, uh, no, just uh, evil cultists. Okay, let's... Oh, characters are stunned. That's bad. Are you stunned? You're stunned as well. Damn. That's not good. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with Enrage then. We're gonna try to focus on their leader again. Because that should normally end the encounter. Okay, yeah, nothing else I can do here. They're both stunned. Okay, so the attack didn't do much damage, but it left us wide open. She's unnerved. And you're fumbling in. Dude, you're not very good. Did anyone ever tell you that? Another fumble? Man, those guys suck. Well... Let's see, what can we do here? You can go up here. Yes, very good. We can get rid of this guy and get Agatha in there for her massive ability. Yeah, that that's actually pretty good from here as well. Wow, that damage. Awesome. Very good. Now let's see, can we sadden him so he stops fighting? Indeed we can. That was nice. He's sad and beyond words and just wants to be alone. Okay, let's see. The alchemist is crying in the corner, her emotions out of control. Not your problem. You leave the weeping handkerchiefs to explore the ruined fort. As the crew looks around, they find the alchemy lab. Agatha feels a bit uneasy. Slightly scared, Agatha asks if one believes in alchemy and the powers of the occult. We can go for yes, there must be truth to it. Or just a bunch of nonsense. Let's go with nonsense, we want study points. Then the crew finds the secret alchemy lab. There are many weird machinations and potions inside, but one treasure stands out. And which one do we get? The Secretorum Secretorum. Secretum Secretorum. 
Okay, um, we gain extra encounter tokens if we resolve encounters deviously. Uh, Alex, extra collect if you resolve encounter deviously is also not bad. We don't have secret tokens and some campaign tokens. Um, hmm. Counter gives us status and gold. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go with the encounter tokens for devious fights. An ancient copy of the occult masterpiece, a great find. With the fort explored and its secrets unveiled, the expedition can safely be called a success. Back to London! The Hungarian fort is explored. Let's see what we gathered in the end. Our totals. Four treasures. That's gonna be awesome. Alright, these are the bonuses we get, the accruing ones. 24 collect ones. I think 30 something uh, renown tokens here. 40 actually. Not too many research tokens in the end. Ah, 20 is still nice. And 8 encounter tokens. That's all in all a pretty good find. Over 500 renown, 100 research. That's great. Exotic location uncovers in the Hungarian fort by promising explorer Yvonne. Um, we are now the classic crook. And we actually managed to uh, skip up three full ranks from nine to six. Nice. We're on a good track. With a great adventure behind you, you can send a report to an explorer welcoming city. This will unlock new possibilities on the world map, but it can only unlock one city per expedition. Later expeditions might add new options. To whom are you going to send your report? Constantinople, where we get a new entourage hall and a modest trinket shop, or New Orleans, an equipment shop and an entourage hall. Hmm. Which one do we want? I think we're going with Constantinople. Salam, brave explorer. The Sultan has learned about your recent quest and is impressed by your bravery. Mani Sultan would like to invite you to the Topkapi Palace to recruit an entourage among the Ottoman elite. Regards, Grand Vizier Ibrahim Isbad. Nice! Okay, so, once again, that's gonna have to do it for today. I do thank you all for watching and hope you've liked this adventure in Hungary. If you did, let me know. Write a comment, tell me what you think about the game, or if you know something similar perhaps that could be fun to play. And yeah, just leave a comment, thumbs up, and that's it. See you tomorrow, guys.